What's up guys, Viper here and welcome to another new player review on the channel. EA decided to release the Showdown SBCs. Today, uh, we've got Jeffrey Condogbia and uh, Lucas Vasquez. Now, I quite like the look of both of the SBCs. Um, obviously, we're reviewing Lucas Vasquez first. As you can see here, we've got him in the team. Um, he looks to be, to me, a uh, great box-to-box. -box. Um, from what we can see on his stats, he's got 4-star, four 4-star, four 5 eight, high medium... As we go into the in-games, you can see he's a bit low on strength. He has good defensive stats, so okay dribbling. Um, if he gets to boost, he is going to be nuts. He's not actually the best card in the world just here right now. Um, if I'm being honest with you, his card right now is not great. Uh, it's going to cost you an 85 and an 84 rated squad with an inform, which isn't too bad, I suppose. Um, but what we're really looking at here is what positions can he play? Um, and I personally think he's a box-to-box -box centre mid and a full one 2 one 2 narrow. That's where I think you'll be best suited playing him. His passing's good. You know, he's got okay short pass, long pass, good curve, um, good vision, um, okay shot power, not great shooting outside of that, though. Um, his agility and balance mixed with his um, really good pace. Hopefully, we'll feel good. Obviously, if you guys played FIFA 21, you'll know how good his uh, team of the season was at the end of the game. And I'm really hoping... We get a similar card here to that. Um, probably going to need the upgrade for it to get that to that level. Um, but you could also play this card at right back maybe. I mean, it offers really good links in the game right now as well. Um, probably not on the side he's on. You probably need to link him to VJ. Obviously, we're playing either VJ or um, Vasquez up front. Um, also links to Mendy if you can get him on that side, um, which is nice. And he's just a very good player by the looks of it. Um, I think EA have done this because they know how good he was last year. Um, with his tops card. But yeah, he looks to be a good card, you know. I'm not too sure on the chemistry style. I was kind of thinking an anchor to get his aggression up. Um, but his passing is a bit low as well. We can just use him as like a, you know, a brute in the midfield. Um, like an aggressive little little ant. You know what I'm saying? Um, because his strength is really, really low. Um, I want to do something for his passing though, I think, too. Hmm. Let's... Uh... I'm not too sure. It's either an anchor or like an engine, I think. I'm going to try him with an engine because I, th I think the, the passing for where we're going to be playing him is so important. So he's getting plus 5 on his vision. He's getting plus 10 on his crossing. Plus 5 and plus 5 on short pass and long pass. With really good curves, so his finesse shot should feel good in game. He has no traits for us to look at. Um, yeah, just looks to be a good card. Hopefully Real Madrid win because I want him to get upgraded more so than Condogbia. But after we reviewed, we've reviewed Lucas Vasquez, we will review uh, Condogbia. But boys, we're going to play a game of champs. We're going to play him in the 4 one 2 narrow as a centre mid. I think that's his best position. So guys, let's get into the game and see how we get on. All right, boys, into the game we go. I forgot to show you his team. My bad. Um, we're in the game now. We've obviously got Vasquez in the team. He's only playing as a right centre mid. Um, I think that is his uh, number one position. Um, it'd be really, really nice if he did get the upgrade, though, you know. Um, and yeah. As I said in the earlier part of the video, um, if he feels anything like his uh, tots last year, man, it's game over because he was sick last year. And what we're going to do, guys, is we're just going to play normally and we're just going to see how involved he gets. You know, he's going to be able to offer something going forward um, because his shooting isn't the worst. If it was nice on the ball, that's a nice run from him. Because his passing, yeah, that's nice. BJ, back into Kapue. Kapue into Figo. Yeah, playing good football. Just need to try and get Vasquez involved if we can. Beautiful play, this. Vasquez is there. Oh, oh unlucky. He feels really tidy on the ball, to be fair to him. Oh, this guy's just going to leave, isn't he? I think he's going to leave, which would suck. Yeah, he's just going to leave, guys. Um, yeah, you know, we've played seven minutes with him, and he felt all right. Let's get into the second game and see how we get on. All right, lads, into the second game we go. This guy's got a good team. Really good team, actually. Um, Uppermann, Carlo, Sule, two very heavy centre-backs, but, you know, still a good team. Let's get into the game and see how we get on with Vasquez. Um, it's going to be hard to get highlights with him, I feel like, because, you know, you, you just kind of... When you play with a card like this, you're more looking for the kind of just... How, how he kind of feels and how he works and you know, if he has good work rate and that kind of stuff. Obviously, he's four-star, four-star as well, which is nice to have. And he could play basically anywhere. Um, he'd be really, really good at uh, left back, I reckon. Oh, sorry, right back. This guy seems like a bit of a sweat. 
If we go with Vasquez. He feels quick as well, actually. He's got a good sprint boost. That's poor from me. I should have gone driven there. I think I'm in the wrong formation too. Let's keep the ball for a second. We'll get him involved when we can. Good stuff. Good play. There he is. Vasquez. How do you feel, pal? Oh, my God. Oh. That was an insane sprint boost. I weren't expecting him to do that. This guy is offside trapping. I think the engine is going to be like really important, guys, if you're going to try and play him as a uh, midfielder. Um, or like a, um, a centre mid. I don't think he's really got the facilities to play um, CDM. Good pass. Good goal. Oh, wow, he's missed it. Um, yeah, I don't think without the upgrade, he's going to be able to play CDM. He just really doesn't have the kind of, you know, ball playing ability. Or sorry, the defensive capabilities. He definitely has the ball playing ability. There goes, he's on the run there. This this dude's quite good to be fair though. So we do have to be careful. This guy does seem really nice. All right, where are we going? If you're looking for like a more defensive midfielder, um, I think Condogby uh, uh, will be a lot better for you. But if you're looking for somebody who can advance and get involved in the, the attacking side of things, Vasquez is definitely your man. He, he is nice. You know, his passing's clean. Um, really clean passing, actually. Into Yeda. Oh, my God. What was that touch? Um, yeah. His passing is really, really nice. I, I, I can't fault that at all. Look at that. Lovely from him. Oh, come on now. I've got a bit lucky there, haven't I? Good read from this guy. Man, he's just going to hit me on the break, you know. I'm playing my um, my 4 one 2 one 2 tactics, which are very, very aggressive, and I think that's the best way to play with uh, Vasquez, personally. Um, so, yeah, that is the kind of way we're playing with him. Can he do through balls? That's the question. I'm not going to through ball that, actually. I'm playing quite poor here, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm, yeah. Look at that, though. It's just a bit silly. You can just free ball that, yeah. Yeah, th th this guy's definitely uh, got the skills to pay the bills. He just cancelled that. All right, there we go. Vasquez, Kapue. Look at Vasquez go. He, he looks so fast. Oh, his passing is real clean. Oh, that's a pen ref. That was insane. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh. Let's not talk about that. I bottled that so hard. I don't know why I wanted to green it. But Vasquez is really, really good so far. His uh, double X's are nice. His general dribbling's quite nice. Yeah, he, he's been a, a pretty decent player so far. Um, I don't think he'll be better than like your Renato Sanchez or anybody like that. Oh man, I'm playing a big, big sweat here, and I'm, I'm obviously I'm a sweat too. Um, so it doesn't really matter, but yeah, that's that's the way of the world, really. Into Bellerin, good ball from Vasquez again. Back into Vasquez, into Capoue, back into Vasquez, into Vinny, back into Vasquez, Vasquez. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, there we go. Vasquez with the assist as well. And this guy's going to leave as well, guys. And we've played really, really well, to be fair. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play one more half. And, um, yeah, just get a, more of a feel for him, you know. I have really enjoyed him so far, though. He's been really, really good. Let's get into the, the final game of the review. All right, lads. Final game of the, uh, the review now. Playing a sick team. Um, this will be a good test for um, Vasquez. See if he, if he can hold himself against Petit, um, Kante, and Nkunku. Um, so yeah, this should be an interesting game. Let's get into it. Lean forward, get on my head glitch, as we usually do. Um, yeah, hopefully Vasquez can uh, hold his own against uh, these kind of players because this this is the ultimate test, really. Um, 
It's very weird that he's using Haller. I mean, he's re a really, really good player, Haller is. I like, he feels very, very fast. I don't know if that's because of the engine, but he feels rapid. Oh my God. Oh, I've got to score that. Oh, I've got to score that. That's really poor. Okay, so he's one of them, is he? Nice, Mark Ineos. Now we can drive forward with Mark here a little bit. Into VJ. VJ into Vasquez. Vasquez, easy ball. Is he onside? Man, he might not be. Oh, he was. Vasquez with another assist. Man, he's good. He's good. Um, he's not going to cost you that much either, you know, which is nice. But yeah, he's uh, he's been pleasantly, you know, his, his, his stats aren't very good, like, um, if we're being honest. Yeah, he has been a very, very pleasant surprise so far. To Vasquez again. Oh my God, his passing is just ridiculous. Oh, what a save. What a save. Yeah, his passing is just insane, guys. We haven't really got to try a shot with him. Oh, come on, VJ, mate. I love you to pieces, but what on earth is that? I was going to try and load up a finesse with him to see what they're like. Oh, yikes. This is all came from that weird back hill. Oh, nice from him there. Oh, my God. What? He just blocked me off. That's insane. Fair enough. Good goal. Um... Yeah, that looks like bad defending, but I just got blocked off. Mental. Go on in, Vasquez. Yeah, hold off Janola. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's bring it in there. Yeah, nice. To Kapue. Kapue into VJ. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's poor for me. I shouldn't have played that. Oh, I like him. His dribbling feels crazy good. Passing is just nice on him, though, as well. Oh my god, man, he is sick. How on earth has he found that ball? No chance he leaves. Another guy that's left, guys. So we played three players and they've all left. I don't know why he left there because he was still in that game. He was a good player. Um, yeah, been very impressed with him so far. Um, that's going to be the last game we do with him. I um, mean, he's been good. I don't know why you're telling us about this again, EA, but fair enough. Um, yeah, I'm very, 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 very impressed. Uh, how many assists did he get? He got three assists in three games. Uh, four star, four star. His dribbling feels really, really clean. It does not feel like 83. Um, I would say his dribbling is more like... Feels more like 88. Um, pace felt really good. He feels very, 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 very fast. Um, from what I found. Um, shooting, we didn't really get to do too much shooting with him. You're not going to be shooting too much with this card anyway. Um, passing was really, really nice as I kept on staying. Uh, his passing is really good. Physicality, not really an issue for this card, you know. He's kind of like a Renato Sanchez-esque player, but without the strength. Um, and yeah, he just felt really, really good. Um, really good at driving forward. Uh, okay defensively, stuck in some good tackles, um, which is always good to see. Um, and yeah, I really, really enjoyed him. If he gets the upgrade, you know, we're going to be looking at like 79 shooting, 90 pace, 85 passing, hopefully like 86 dribbling, uh, just so he feels that like next level dribbling. Um 80, what, free defending, like 76 physical. I need to get that aggression above 80 with the upgrade. Uh, defensively, though, he's lo already looking quite good. Um, I think the engine is definitely the chemistry style for him, and that really did help his dribbling and his passing um, a lot. You could feel it. Um, and, yeah, he's he's very, very good, guys. I'd highly recommend you do him. I think he's going to be the better of the two, regardless of how good Condogbia is. Um, just because... This guy can offer you a lot more than Kondogbia can. Kondogbia, to me, is just a CDM. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion, guys. Um, I'm going to give this card an 8 out of 10. If it gets to an upgrade, man, oh man, it could be a brilliant card. But guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and you're subscribed to the channel if you're not already. I'll see you shortly for Kondogbia.